Okay, so this is gonna be a video that you probably wouldn't expect from a business finance channel. I wanna talk about something that, uh, one of the most insane manic episodes that I had. So yeah, I'm bipolar. It's been about 10 years. I've been hospitalized three different times on um, like, like 5150 holds. Basically, I was uh, a danger to myself, so they, they put me, they locked me up. I've been strapped to the bed. I've been, you know, given medicine, and, and I guess you can play, you could say the cuckoo house, right? This was all caused by uh, stress, lack of sleep, and um, just not taking care of myself, right? Um, but I really wanted to focus on the manic episode. Mania, that's also what it's called, mania. It's so hard to explain to people. Um, they, like, I, a few of my friends have asked, like, oh, what is it like? It depends. You know, there's para you can be ma manic and be paranoid. It could be manic delusional, uh, which paranoid is kind of being delusional. But there's the third one, and it's my favorite. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's when you're so confident, like bipolar, right? It's a mood thing. Like you have your extremes, your highs, like happy, you know, conceited, confident. You can do anything to like the lows, right? Where it's just kind of like scared, paranoid, fearful. So I'm going to talk about one of the episodes I had where I was fucking up here through the roof, like conceited, happy, just, you know, I, okay, let's get right into it. I hadn't slept for a few days. Um, was working on a video project where I was underpaid, undervalued, but working way too hard on on this project, and I had an episode. I remember, I, it's a crazy part, I don't remember every single thing, every detail. There's like definitely parts of that episode where I kind of blacked out, I don't remember, but I remember walking around, oh my god, it's crazy to even say this on camera. I was uh, in Arcadia, living with my sister. Thank God, I like I can't even so grateful for my sister. She helped me so much through this journey of mine. But I was walking around Arcadia, thinking that I was Drake, the rapper Drake. I swear to you guys, I was walking around like like I know it sounds simple, right? Like like not simple, but it sounds like impossible to like literally think you're somebody else. But in my mind, I was like, yeah, I'm Drake. I guess, okay, think of yourself as Jim Carrey or an, uh, an actor where they get so deep in a role to where they lose themselves and they they literally become that person. Um, that's exactly what the state of mind I was in. I was walking around singing, singing to people, like random people on the street. I remember this one, t <laughs> this lady, she was walking her dog and then she was walking by and I went, tell me, na, na, na. <laughs> I started singing to her and then in my mind, she was kind of confused, like not in my mind, but like I, I, I know she was confused, but in my mind, I, I, I saw her enjoying it. Like, oh, that's so cool. Like Drake went to Arcadia, like no bodyguards. I was walking, I did that for like an hour. And here's where it gets even crazier. Then I'm <clears throat> down, uh, I don't know, was it Los Tunis? One of the, the streets in Arcadia. I see a field of um, these workers, guys working construction. In my head, I'm like, oh, I'm Drake. You know, I got to bless the people. So there must have been like 15 guys there. I just go, hey, amigos, how many uh, how many of you guys are hungry? And it's just quiet. And I'm in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's because I'm Drake. They're, ner they're nervous to talk to Drake. But in reality, I'm sure it's just like, they're probably like, who is this dude, you know? <laughs> so, you know, they're like 15. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to... I went and bought every one of those guys lunch okay that was i'm like i would never probably do that normal me wouldn't do that but i bought 15 guys lunch they were happy but they were super confused because i had i remember giving them the food and just saying like hey all i ask is just enjoy the music <laughs> enjoy the music and then I handed them like five trays of food, burgers, fries, and drinks. And it gets even crazier. Then I remembered a few days later, 
I'm at a park in La Puente. Um, I see this homeless lady. And uh, she's kind of, I don't want to say beat up, but she looks like she's been in a fight. And I don't, I don't know if that's like true or not. Like if that was like, how, or how I just perceived it. Um, but she, you know, I was walking down and I saw her and she, she just, she looked scared. And I was like, oh, don't be scared. You know, like, oh, I'm Drake. Don't be scared. <laughs> I think I might've even sung to her too. I gave this lady my car. <laughs> so I, I was like thinking in my mind, how am I going to say this? I gave her my fucking car. Because I was like, she can live in it. She can, you know, like get her, get a job. I'm changing this lady's life. And uh, that was probably the craziest thing I did. Is is during this episode, gave this lady my car, and then I think maybe the day after that, um, you know, lack of sleep. Like I wasn't sleeping at all for these like this time period. Right? It might have been like a four day period. So then I end up in the hospital. I'm in the hospital for like, I don't know, six days. And I come back down, right? Cause I'm up here. And then I come back down and I'm like, then I go through the big old depressed state. I think that one lasted for a while. But um, yeah, I'm like, okay, whatever. I lost the car. It's just a part of, that's the part of life, you know? Yeah, I guess that was my own fault. And but the scary part is like, I, I didn't, I just gave it to her. I didn't give her a pink slip or no document saying that she's, um, reliable for anything that happens to this car. Nothing. Just straight up. Here's the keys. Like, like Oprah just, I don't know, gave her the car. So I would say maybe like a, a month or so after, after that, um, I'm like constantly looking, right? Like, like I need to get my car back. Like, I have to Indian give this because I can't just you can't just give someone your car that you don't need. I didn't even know she had a driver's license, so I'm like, oh man, I can't believe it. And then, as literally the day after I stopped looking and stopped really caring about where this car was at, I drive by, I turn my head, I see I'm at the park, I see I see her car, and I'm like, I see my car, her car. Then I pulled in, and I tried to explain to her, I was like, look, you know, like I, I wasn't right mentally, like. Um, like I can't, you can't have this. Like I can't just give it to you. And then she was like a little sad. And then I got my car back, but <laughs> the radio was gone. Um, all the stuff that I had in there was gone for some reason. I don't know what happened. The air conditioner stopped working. I don't know what they did. I, maybe they sold parts of the car. I don't know, but yeah, I got my car back and, um, I would say that was pretty much it. Wild, right? What a crazy ride. So I just wanted to make this video just to talk about my own experience. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't know what else. I just wanted to share that. I, to me, I think that's just a crazy story. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely laugh at my situation. That's To me, it's funny because if you can't laugh at it, then you're taking life too serious. So anyways, thank you guys. Uh, I'm going to make more content like this. Uh, my plan is to make a video a day for 30 days. It's a little challenge I'm doing with my best friend. So I'm doing that. And I thought this would be a cool little opener and a different video. So you guys can kind of understand me a little more and enjoy it. So thank you. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.